shot by Steel Cannon. Plug, make sure to suck it on. Cash, sipping that styrofoam. Aim at my target and lock it on. Clock on my PSD boxes on. Hard to move faster. Put your brain on the floor, that's posse. Yeah, yeah. Got dread like a roster. They fucking around, think I'm a shot to. The man, what's it? The man under my bed. Right. So, so you're a clucky. I just off buck. I'm 22 years old, and this ends. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, go back. I just hold on, hold on. Incident happened to me a year and a half ago. I just moved into my first apartment and was still in the process of moving right. in. The door that leads into my apartment locks itself automatically when closed. A year and a half ago. You, you 22? So about... Twenty? Twenty and a half? I don't know. Twenty, twenty-one, right? You are, you are an adult. Right? So how the hell did this shit happen? Cause you're a clucky. So I was going to the entrance of the apartment complex to get my mail while talking on the phone with my boyfriend. I returned to my okay. apartment and sat on the bed while opening the mail and still on the phone. I accidentally dropped the phone on the floor. It landed under the bed so I had to lie on the floor and stretch out for it. I saw something that caught my eye. Y'all, one of my biggest fears is is having like my leg or my feet dangling off the bed and then the bed itself, it has space between the floor and the bed. Just enough for somebody to be under that mother clucking and somebody grab my ankles. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god. On the floor, it landed under the bed, so I had to lie on the floor and stretch out for it. I saw something that caught my eye. There was someone under my bed. My eyes widened, and I choked the urge to scream. The person under my bed was lying still with his back towards me and his head in his chest, so I couldn't see his face, and he didn't see me. Trying to be rational while so many thoughts rushed through my head, I picked up the phone and said, Sorry I dropped my phone. I'm just going to take a shower and I'll call you back. The bathroom is right by my bed, so I hastily walked in and quietly locked the door. Oh my god. Turned my shower on and jumped out my window. My Let's go! My apartment is on the first floor. I called the police and they told me to wait nearby, but to go across the street and see if anyone comes out of the door. This was during the summer and it was still light out. I placed myself across the street, hiding behind a car while watching my open bathroom window and the entry door. I called my boyfriend and he came- Why does your boyfriend look almost exactly like the guy that was underneath your bed? Sus! Ica hoax or sus hoax. Came just before the police. I gave them the keys and they went inside. Only moments later, two cops came out holding a thin, tired looking man. His eyes looked absolutely crazy, but he didn't even try to get away. The policeman that stood beside me and comforted me while the other cops searched through my house told me that the man stood outside my bathroom door with one of my kitchen knives waiting for me to come out. This man somehow crept in my entry door while I was getting my mail and hid under my bed. The man that was trying to hurt me turned out to be a homeless person and was placed in a mental hospital. My boyfriend moved in with me the very next day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I bet you your boyfriend is going to be the same. It's going to be also awesome on the unique people. I don't trust your boyfriend. That's all I'm saying. You know? That is true. 
after that instance, the fact that he almost looked exactly like that could be his brother or his cousin. The fact that they kind of look the same. How can you sleep good? How can you sleep at night? Uh uh. Nah. I would have been like, hey, you know what? No, 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 look, no hard feelings. There's nothing against you. It's not personal. Right? And it's not you. Right? But you, you look almost exactly like this mother clucker. Again, it's not you. It's not you. But you look like him. So I'm breaking up with you. I'm changing my locks. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact. I'm changing locations. Send me your location list. Focus on communication. Cause I, ah, I'm like, keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.